Hi, I'm Chad Wunderlich with Viking Pump. And on the left, I have a lobe pump, and on the right, a circumferential piston pump, or CPP. Today, I'm going to talk about the similarities and differences between these two different types of pumps. You're watching the Pump Report. These pump types are very similar. So before we talk about the differences, let's talk about the similarities between these two designs. Both are rotary positive displacement pumps. Both are self-priming, offering smooth, non-pulsating flow. Both are gentle and low shear. And in each case, the liquid takes the long path to travel through the pumps. If you'll recall from past pump reports, this is similar to our other positive displacement pump technologies. As you can tell by their high finish stainless steel construction, these pumps are commonly used in hygienic service and are used in applications in food and beverage, personal care, and pharmaceutical markets. Additionally, both are non-contacting designs. Unlike a gear pump where one gear pushes the other, the pumping elements, called rotors, are driven independently by a set of timing gears near the back of the pump. So with all these similarities, the difference largely comes down to the rotors. Let's start with the lobe pump. While there are other designs, this rotor features three lobes, commonly called a tri-lobe pump. This design is preferred for handling shear-sensitive liquids and is commonly used for systems that require clean in place or steam in place. Circumferential piston pump rotors feature long curved wings that run in close proximity to the casing wall. This design, combined with their non-galling stainless steel construction, makes CPP pumps ideal for applications that are low viscosity, higher pressure, or for liquids that contain solids. Both of these pumps are excellent choices for applications where hygiene and cleanability are critical. But with so much in common, it can be difficult to know which to pick for your unique application. Hopefully, this pump report has helped to explain the few differences between these designs and helped to give you an idea of which pump would be best for your application. To learn more about these pumps or to view other pump reports, please visit our website at vikingpump.com.